right, so here he is, the ubiquitous Nick Diaz. It's hard to quantify his contribution to mixed martial arts. I will just lead by saying that this man brought a lot of fans into this sport, and when he fights, the building's still packed to the Yes, absolutely. Nick Diaz has a fan base that will follow him through anything, and rightfully so. He won the Strike Force Bustleweight Championship, defended it in a ton of crazy fights, knocking out Paul Daly, knocked out Mario Zoromskis, yeah. and then coming back to the UFC, getting wins over PJ Penn, fight George St. Pierre, and then also shared the octagon with Anderson Silva. So it was only big fights for Nick Diaz because he was such a star in such a draw. And sometimes people lose sight of just how good he was in his prime. 2008 to 2011, Nick Diaz won 11 consecutive fights. introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Referee for Ready. this one. Ready. Ready. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you no grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. All right, early action here, and a nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fought. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer, and the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight and you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or the bottom of Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Back and forth we go. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again. You know, I think if I'm on the air, hey, that uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. 
and he blocked the punch there. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice shot there by the champ. The kick. Well, eventually, you know he's going to... Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. His misses are at Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Oh, oh he's on wobbly legs now. gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by McGregor. just before you heard the horn, so he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Oh. Round two. But Gregor gets caught by the inside leg. Now mixing one into the body. Oh, he heard a bell with the jab. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. You've got to pay attention. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent... Oh, he's stunned trying to recover here. Yeah, well, do it! Oh, my God. 
goodness. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Nick Dean. Well, he hasn't been the most active fighter on the roster, but when he competes, he still finds a way to get the job done. Congratulations to Nick Diaz, who comes through with yet another signature win here tonight. This 209 tattoo looking pretty good right now.